Good morning, MES. I'm super excited to do a video for you today. This is the last one. So we've got a lots of birthdays to read. I have some really fun summer jokes for you and a great book about filling your bucket. We'll talk about that. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Um, first of all, I want to do a reminder that today we will be sending out an email for you to record and submit how many kilometers you've walked, run, or rolled over the last month as part of our walk, run, roll challenge. And then we will be putting together a list of the kids who reach the different distances. We're super excited. I know I've had lots of emails from kids and parents saying, we've done it, we made 100 kilometers. So we're very, very excited for you. We're very excited to give you a prize. And looking forward to seeing how many kids got at least the 25K. So that's a really exciting. Okay, let's get to some birthdays. So let's start with today, June 8th in grade five is Jace's birthday. Tomorrow, June 9th, in grade 6, Trayton, also Asher, and in grade 1, Bethany. On Wednesday, June 10th, in kindergarten, is Avon's birthday. On June 11th, in kindergarten, is Finn's birthday. In grade 1, Larson's birthday. In grade 4, Lulu's birthday. And in grade 6, Ava's birthday, Ava S. And on June 12th, in grade 6, is Robin's birthday. And in kindergarten, Ruby's birthday. On June 14th, in grade two is Britt and Andreas's birthday. In grade three, uh, in grade, sorry, I mixed that one up. In grade six is Jaden's birthday and Pete's birthday. On June 15th, in grade five is Tayden's birthday. In grade four, Evan's birthday. In, on June 16th in preschool is Ayla and in grade 5 Danielle's birthdays. On June 17th in kindergarten is Sophia's birthday. On June 18th in grade 6 is Rain and in grade 5 Caxton. In, on June 19th in grade 5 is Riley's birthday and in grade 2 Liam's birthday. Oh and Liam has moved but we'll still announce his birthday because I think they still watch this. And on June 21st in grade four is Oren's birthday. Okay, we're gonna skip to July. On July 9th in grade one, Hudson's birthday. And Riskin in grade three. On July 10th in preschool is Peyton's birthday. On July 11th in preschool is Brinley's birthday and in grade two, Reed. On July 13th in preschool, Cooper. On July 14th, in grade two, Phoebe. Phoebe has also moved. So happy birthday, Phoebe, Phoebe in Australia. And Phoebe just started a new school year, so that's fun. Um, on July 16th, in grade two, is Brady's birthday. And on July 18th, in grade three, is Silas's birthday. Okay, let's move to August. On August 9th, in grade four, is Andrew's birthday. August 10th, grade six, Ethan. August 11th in kindergarten, Timon and Warden's birthdays, and Maddie's, Madeline's, and in, on August 11th, also in grade two, is Lacey's birthday. On August 12th in grade three is Tacey's birthday, in grade two, Walker, and in grade five, Adeline. In, sorry, on August 13th in kindergarten is Vivian's birthday, and in grade five, Jeffrey's birthday. On August 17th in grade two, we have Brooklyn and Michaela's birthday. And August 18th in grade one is Rocky's birthday. And we have a few teacher birthdays, I think, to read here. So on July 16th is Mrs. Stevenson's birthday. I think we read Mrs. LePage's birthday on July 22nd, but that's okay, we'll see it again. And that's it for teacher birthdays in the summer. So that is all our birthdays. I think, I hope we haven't missed anybody. Um, all you kiddos that have summer birthdays, we hope you get to have a splash in a pool or in a sprinkler and eat popsicles and have a wonderful day. 
All right, on to our story. So this is called, I have to back up so you can see it. How full is your bucket? What kind of bucket do you think it's talking about? When I was a kid, I used a bucket to feed my horses. And I used a bucket to catch little minnows out of the rivers. What do you use a bucket for? Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. That is not very kind, is it? I can't turn these pages. They're sticky. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go away. Sorry. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Mmm, Anna was not very happy. Thwack! Whoops, this one's kind of broken. We'll have to fix it. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was. A small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Oh, what's going to happen to the buckets? Felix slipped and choco wheats scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drips spilled out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the choco wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin before he could even take, sorry, but before he could even take one bite. Oh. Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst, Felix. Psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. <gasps> Look at all these children being so unkind to Felix and what's happening to his bucket. Do you notice what's happening to his bucket? Over here and here. There's less and less water in it. Yikes. It was still morning and Felix's bucket was almost empty. Have you had days when you feel like your bucket's almost empty? I think we all have had those days. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Oh, I almost forgot to show you. Poor Felix, he looks so sad. What do you think somebody could do to fill his bucket? Do you think we can fill the buckets? I think so. Whoops, I almost showed you the picture. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a 
big drop land right in his bucket. Drop, drop, plop, plink, drop. The Gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Look at his bucket now. What do you notice about his bucket? By the time it gets over here, it's almost full again. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball. Catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. Oh, hold it a little closer. Look how full his bucket is. When Felix burst through the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, Dogs must have invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? Look what happens to their buckets. And so they did. And look how full their buckets are. So I want you to remember that as you go into the summer, that some days you might feel a little bit sad, but one of the ways that you can fill your bucket is to do kind things for other people. So I want you to make sure that you remember that, that you're always kind and that you're looking for ways that you can help other people and that fills your bucket and it fills their bucket, which makes them be happy. So I want you to have a wonderful summer. We have something exciting planned for June 18th, so stay tuned, um, and we'll, we'll be sharing some information about that day very soon. And in the meantime, go get your last walk or run or roll in and submit your kilometers when you get the email or when your parents get the email about um, submitting how many kilometers you run. So we love you. We miss you. Have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you around town throughout the summer. Bye-bye.